I'm Mark. I'm Kian. I'm Gage. We're the pastoral staff at Winfield Nazarene. A few highlights we've experienced over the past year includes uh, one teen who has experienced a full-time call into ministry and the transformation that's happened there. We've launched Almenos, our young adult uh, ministry here, and also uh, we've had about four students, first-time converts. The Holy Spirit's been working in our children's department as evidenced through four baptisms and the depth of the prayers of the children in, at the altar, in Sunday school, and in children's church. We've continued to uh, pursue reaching out to our community through our two events, major outreach events, the emergency response personnel in the fall, appreciation meal for them, and in the spring we do a community movie night. They've been very successful. We saw 10 first uh, recommitments to Christ at our movie night and one first time commitment to the Lord, and we showed the Jesus film this year. We're excited about building the church and the kingdom in Winfield Nazarene. I'm Pastor Jared Haydock from the Anthony Nazarene Church. The Anthony Nazarene Church continues to walk in the steps that God has laid out for us in ministry in Hartford County in southern Kansas. Every time we step out in faith, God opens a new door for us that we couldn't even dream of. We feel that God has called us to, set, to plant churches all along the southern Kansas, Highway 160 from Anthony, Kansas, all the way to Meade, Kansas. We feel that it is our opportunity to fill the gaps in the small communities of needs based on marriage, financial counseling, all kinds of different needs. We plan to fill those needs. The Anthony Nazarene Church knows that with a God-sized vision for our church, we will need many challenges ahead, and we'll face those challenges. We also are confident that when we all take a hold of the God's vision for our church, we will be a united force that can accomplish anything as long as we follow in God's steps. Thank you. Pastor Dave Lofkin from Serbia Church of the Nazarene. We have seen uh, 12 professions of faith this year and, and five baptisms, and there are three new households we are ministering to. And one is being discipled right now. Two were added into membership. Uh, we recently took our teens through every young men's battle and every young woman's battle. This was very effective in helping them understand holiness. Uh, our, our food pantry serves an average of 160 plus households a month. And we're currently adding a room to our fellowship hall so that we can get out of the basement. Um, our, our, uh, our mission is to be intentional in our lifestyle, to serve the Lord and to reach out to the lost to cross barriers that create connection in our community, to take what has been freely been given to us and to freely give it away, and to accept people as they are, and to share our story of what Christ has done. Respectfully submitted, Pastor Dave Lofton, Serve Your Truth in Nazarene. Thank you. I am Pastor Sam Lever, and I'm bringing my 30th report for the Udall Church of the Nazarene. And this has been a year of major changes, but it's also been a year of tremendous opportunities for ministry. God's been faithful in sending several new people uh, to our congregation, and we have witnessed a phenomenal spiritual growth in the lives of many. It's been my privilege to baptize four and bring five into membership. And one of our new members has already entered the course of study for ministry, and the board has voted for him to receive a local preacher's license. So we're excited. And looking forward to see what God has in store for the faithful people of the Utah Church of the Nazarene in the year to come. Undercut it, didn't I? John Bassett, Augusta. One of our families announced they'd be moving to northern Kansas. When they left, their ministry left as well, which included seven positions and a lot of offering. When they announced their departure, I began to pray for one person who might replace them. I did this for several weeks. At our pastors and mates retreat in the fall, I told this group of very missions pastors the situation. I told them I was praying for one person. Someone said, why not pray for ten instead of one? I changed my prayer. I challenged the church body to pray. People began to come. A Sunday school teacher stepped up to the plate. A treasurer stepped forward. A new greeter stepped forward as well. When we had nine people, the visitor stopped. I told God, I am praying for ten. What happened? We got a visit. From the couple that had left things did not work out well for them on the mission field in northern kansas so they were returning they had jobs and they bought a house god did not stop at 10 we now had 11. visitors are continuing to come some are staying some are not praise and thanks be to our lord and savior jesus christ 
I am Pastor John Schellenberger of the Wellington Church of the Nazarene, and for us, this has been a year of down and ups. We witnessed the solid and genuine conversion of two people, and so sins went down and were covered over, and a 70-year-old man and a 12-year-old boy came up as new creatures in Christ. We dug down deep into our pockets, and so giving went up in the last year by 6%. We worked and worked to take down part of our inside building and have remodeled it to bring up the new and modern and more appealing look to our facilities. We went through a witnessing without fear, a Saturday morning seminar with Charles Chick Shaver to take down our fear about witnessing to come up to boldness when sharing about Christ. Yes, we are people not in a down mood or frame of mind, but we are up and excited about our future, God has been good to us. This is the report of the Hispanic Church of the Nazarene in Arkansas City, Kansas. I'm Julio Lopez, and I'm the pastor of the church. The church had a membership of 28 members at the beginning of the year. And throughout the year, we have received nine new people, making it a total of 37 members. We have also dedicated five children to the Lord, two baptisms, one marriage, 12 holy suppers, one funeral, and 120 celebration service. We as well have visited hospitals, jails, and homes to evangelists and disciples. We have done different activities in the community to make the gospel of God known and for the people of the city to know that there is a place in Spanish where they can come to learn and worship God. Our church has also collected food to, to help different families in their needs with the purpose of showing them God loves them, in which some have accepted Jesus in their lives, and we have done everything for the glory of God. Thank you.